Quick on this video, man, I'll talk about some of the shit that people say about me. Some of the most popular uh, labels people put on me. Probably the most popular label is racist. Now, this idea has been uh, popularized by certain people through videos. You know, you had this... Uh, this, this Wing Tom student who uh, most recently tried to point out that I'm basically summed up as being a racist. And like he spoke about a conversation that we had in the comment section when we first had an interaction. And he claimed that he came at me respectfully. But when he came at me, he was calling me a racist. He's talking about how he don't understand how I could hate uh, whites simply because they're white. Which is not a respectful approach to anybody. I mean, you gotta be uh, an idiot to think that's an, a respectful approach to, uh, on the assumption without any evidence. Hey, you hate people just because of the complexion of their skin. And anybody who has uh, followed my videos know that I never voiced my disgust for any group based solely on their color. I don't even mention or touch on their complexion. I talk about their behavior. I talk about their society. I talk about their social culture and how they function in the world in relation to our people. So that's not a respectful approach. But somehow through all of this, I've just been summed up as a racist. Now when a black person refers to me as a racist, I automatically know that this is a black person who's just trying to get the majority of listeners to side with them both white and black because automatically the majority of whites are going to side with you because they don't like blacks who speak about their ill behaviors even when that black person is on the money they don't want that black person to speak on it <laughs> they want to silence them and since they can't silence them the first thing they try to do is uh, have a, a reverse racism type tactic they as the racist will then call the victim of racism a racist so as to have you overlook everything they say and you know, because you're just painting them as a racist. So anything they say is irrelevant. It's being expressed behind this, you know, picture of a race, of a racist. So you just write off everything they say. So when blacks do this, I automatically know this is a Tom. I mean, this is a die hard Tom. You know, and. His main priority is to get, you know, the white collective on his side, you know, and to be hailed as, you know, the good guy, pretty much. And even the more intelligent guy, when, when he really just a fool, who don't have uh, the courage to, to speak on certain things, because this society try to make blacks feel... Uh, afraid to talk about certain things and afraid to say certain things and blacks most blacks are afraid to talk about and say certain things because they are afraid of how uh, other people primarily whites are going to feel or going to react or going to look at them you know what I'm saying and that's, that's just something I don't concern myself with one of the main things black people do 
and this is black people all over the world we got it embedded in our psyche consciously and subconsciously that one thing we don't want to ever become is the type of people who cause us so much pain and that is racist we all got the history we all know of uh, slavery of lynchings how our ancestors were dealt with and mistreated how they were destroyed broken at the apex of how you can destroy a people it, it never got any worse than how our ancestors were destroyed and humiliated you know completely you know taking black men and and stripping them butt naked in front of the women I mean these are the men supposed to protect the society and, and, and just torturing their asses beating them to damn death mutilating them in front of the in front of their family just to let them know we in control we destroy your men we own you we gonna put the fear of God in you we gonna own your mind and, and we gonna get rid of your motherfucking mind and we gonna keep your body all we want is your fucking body your mind is gonna be destroyed it's gonna be replaced by a servile mentality motherfucker so we all got that embedded in our mind and one thing we don't want to become is a racist so that means the greatest way you can try to insult another black person is to call them a racist and when a motherfucking black person try to call me a racist you know what I'm saying I know they on some other shit. They on some other shit. They trying to, you know, I don't know. It's like a, it's like a calling to their massa. You know what I'm saying? And you know our avoidance, us trying not to become a racist, it, it fucks us up. You know because it causes us to look away from certain things that we should speak out about. Things go down and we see the racism. But we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to point it out because we don't want other people to look at us as a racist because we want to avoid being seen or projected as a racist in any way. Because in our mind, the worst type of human being, of human behavior, is a human who dislikes another person solely based on their identity. And this really, really fucks us up. Because at points when we should be judging groups by their behavior and their psychology, their shared group psychology, their group think, we, f we don't examine it. Because we feel like it'll be translated into racism. So you, I don't even know if motherfuckers is understanding what I'm trying to say here. You got to get rid of that fucking mentality. Really, I believe we couldn't be racist no matter how hard we try. Motherfucker, you cannot, if you're black, be a racist. You can't hate nobody based solely on their fucking identity. Every black person has grown up idolizing all other people's identity this is just the way it is we love fucking straight long hair we love fucking Asian people we love Indian we love their identity we love white folk identity motherfucker we had all white superheroes and we all grew up watching these white fucking movies stop being stupid look at our women they all straighten their goddamn head. And the black men, we love that shit. You know what I'm saying? We cannot be fucking racist. Even before we grew up idolizing their image, we welcomed them into society. We taught them shit because we was naturally hospitable people. 
You know what I'm saying? We were just cool people. We never have had no history of being racist. So get that fucking out your head. I've been got that out my head. And I realize that I have the freedom and I'm justified to analyze motherfuckers based on their behavior. On how they have functioned in societies throughout their history. And when I say history, motherfucker, don't think I'm just talking about here in the United States. Don't think I'm just talking about post-slave trade. I'm talking about far before the fucking slave trade. That's how you know a people. That's how you can really make a case study on how a group thinks. Is if they show a consistent pattern of behavior throughout their entire fucking existence. And that's when you have a strong case that can't nobody debunk. That's why I don't listen to no motherfuckers trying to call me no racist, man. Because I've done the motherfucking study. I can show you the related, consistent behavior that, that exists in them as a group today. That existed throughout all their society. Stretching all the way back to fucking Greece. Their first society. And ain't shit changed.